Okay, so we're here with Project Fail Repair. Uh, just thought of another name for it too. It would be Project Cold Case. Probably be more appropriate. Not really a fail, but it's just taking forever. Any horse. Uh, so we've uh, stabbed the uh, driver's side manifold on there after cleaning out and chasing the threads. Uh, this is the kind of stuff we're running into. Uh, it's been so long since I've taken it apart that uh, I'm trying to remember the proper configuration for where each bolt goes. I had them laid out in my tray where they went and you know, tray got kicked over. I had video. The video is on a hard drive that's been, you know, uh, mothballed. Hard drive's fine. The rest computer went bad. Anyway, so that's the kind of crap we're dealing with. It's trying to figure out, you know, okay, where does this go? Where does that go? Uh, you know, it's been over a year. It's been closer to, it's about a year and three months. So, you know, between the tray getting kicked over, losing the video footage, and just absolutely not paying no attention, this is the stuff we're dealing with. So, we shall adapt and overcome. And uh, I'm not sure how far I'll get by the time I get this video posted, but if anybody has a 95 GMC Jimmy or Blazer, uh, they could uh, help me along with or a diagram for these things. That'd be great, too. Uh, other than that, it'll just be kind of funny to watch, see if we'll get it right or not, huh? <laughs> All right. here we have a lost exhaust bolt uh, it was a bolt that was in this tray here and when the tray got kicked over apparently we lost one of those bolts and just didn't realize it uh, so if uh, if it's in the shed where the tray was when it got kicked over then when we clean the shed out it probably got thrown in a bolt bin which isn't organized it's like a couple of random five gallon buckets and coffee cans full of bolts that uh, when we need one we just kick it over and go through it so if we can't find one in there in that fashion we're going to have to go to the junkyard and uh, procure one of those bolts so what I'm trying to do is get as much of this crap together as possible to see what all I do and don't need when I go to the junkyard oh fun fun Alright, well here it is, a couple hours later, managed to get a uh, exhaust manifold on, the uh, spark plugs back in that side, and the uh, temperature sensor and uh, sending unit, I guess what it is, there's two different sensors on this side, one's the same as on the passenger side, and there's like a, what looks like a temperature sensor, temperature sensor or a sending unit, whatever right there above it. Uh, Now uh, we're about to uh, start slapping some bracketry on there and valve covers, or well valve covers and then bracketry. One thing I wanted to make note of that a friend of mine was talking about is this uh, screw in uh, stud for the uh, rucker arms. Anyway. Just make a note. Okay, so uh, a cupboard that we have the uh, sauce manifold. Damn chickens. Sauce manifold valve cover. Got the uh, accessory bracket on this uh, driver's side over here. Uh, I've stopped for the time being because damn power steering pump pull is giving me a hard time going back on but so we jumped over here to the uh, we have jumped over here to the uh, passenger side exhaust manifold uh, just about got it buttoned up we've got it hung up there ready to stick the gaskets in it and this side as well has the uh, screw in uh, studs for the rocker arms so just make a note of that uh, so get that on there get the valve cover on there accessories on this side and uh, upper plenum 
spark plug wires, you know, all that good stuff, everything wired up, plumbed up, and we'll be ready to fire up once we get the, uh, oh yeah, the fan and stuff on the front. So anyway, uh, that's that, and uh, we'll get back with you when we got more.